tiny pot of Pringles in the cupboard. Well, neutrals are well burnt. It fits just perfect in the gap. Why, mate? Why? <laughs> Welcome back. Me, Luke and John are all on a job down in Romford. You might have seen a video previously. I think John and Jordan come to test it. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen it, I'll get someone to put a link up. You can give that a watch. John's going to change a fuse board. We've got a car charger to do. Loads of remedial works. We're just going to crack on, see what bits we get done, see if we can show you anything interesting. This video is also uh, sponsored by Tradify. So I'll um, talk to you in a bit about that. I'm just prepping the zappy. I'm going to stick it on the porch and then get a cable through. John's just in the porch. He's going to strip the skeleton board out and I think he's actually going to put a Wago box, extend the cables up and put a new board up above the actual meter cupboard. Me and uh, Luke haven't been here so we'll just do one thing and then we'll give John a shout or look at Tradify and see what the next job is on the list and um, yeah, go from there. So I'm going to be replacing this fuse board. Just got to try and strip all of this out. I'm going to see if these cables can reach to move to the new location. If not, I'm going to install a whisker box, uh, extend all the cables and leave these CTs inside them so the customer can carry on load monitoring each circuit. Um, but it's kind of suck it and see and see how I get on and see what's long enough really for now. No, these aren't mine. How have they shrunk? Maybe you've grown. <laughs> oh, it's got a little baby. Who's these? has got a set like that. <laughs> Is that through? Spot on, mate. That's how you pull cables with your foot. <laughs> so, seeing as this video is sponsored by Trader Fire, I just thought I'd tell you a bit about it because I actually find it really helpful. Um, I've worked for quite a few people in the past, sort of subbing in for them and things, and the organization's just been like all over the place, um, not knowing where you work until late at night, things like that. Weeks in advance or the night before, whenever I can just go on it, I can see where I'm working each day of the week. I can see the customer details if I need to call them, the address. I can click on and see who I'm working with, which is good. So I'll know if I'm working with Luke or John or Ruben. Also, it's good because you can see like a breakdown of all the different jobs where the office have put a description in. Um, so you can kind of get a rough idea of what you're doing, what materials you might need, any extra tools you might want to take. And good thing I like about it, it's linked to your map. So you can just click navigate and it will show you the route to the job. Um, so yeah, I find it really, really helpful, but um, I think we've got a discount code if you want to give it a go. So I'm sure there'll be a link in the description, but um, yeah, I'll definitely give it a go and try it out. See, see what you think of it. If I can, I'm just going to open pull them back this up, up and see if I can get this. Oh, you might need, not need the Wago book. Yeah. What about all these though? I'm, sh the thing with all this, like really, we should be able to say like, well, no, we've made the board safe, but like, well, it's I'm not think, down to us to be like... Well, I'm thinking of um, just installing a bit of Copex with all of these in. If I can get up to there, then just putting a bit of Copex in. In the trunk. And then just shoving them all down. If you could get them all clamped inside the trunk in, then you only have got to use a Wago box, have you? Mm. I was going to see, because, I mean, these are... They're all loose, so I, I don't, don't know if there's tubes I don't there. think there's tubes, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell, they might just finish short, but normally they actually coupled on, aren't they? Well, even if you can bring it out and like into the back of your trunk in, that's, that's only a 1.5, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That. it goes down to here, which then has this lovely arrangement going on. Nice. So today we're installing a fuse box, uh, fuse board. Um, I don't know if it was planned or it was just a fluke, but it fits just perfect in the gap. It's got SPD uh, protection. Um, hopefully I'm going to bring the existing cables up into one of these rear entry holes and I might be able to get away without putting any trunking up there because it's actually, I've got into the cavity there and I can see all the cables coming down so I might not have to extend any of them either. If I put a big bit of trunking on top of that skirting 
that will cover all that, put an end cap on it, then we can put a socket above. How are we going to get one get, drill out here? Shall I put a whisker here? We could always run a bit of 4mm T and E and the CT down and that can get just connected inside the trunking. Do you think it'd be all right in the trunking or, or, or just put a whisker on top of it or something? Or I can just, or I could just take that all the way through. But then trunking up to a whisker is going to look weird, isn't it? Mm. Unless you just bite it straight up and we can, I'll try and get the cable. Well, if we do trunking up, drill into there and then put the whisker like here or something. Mm, yeah, I'll leave it as twin and earth onto the board. The, and a tiny pot of Pringles in the cupboard. You sure Corey ain't been there? Yeah, I think they were hoping for Corey. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. Oh, what is it? Cheesy cheese. Looks like a fuse, doesn't it? That's what I thought. What were we talking about? I got distracted by the Pringles. So this is the board that we've taken out. As you can see, it's absolutely tiny. You can get replacements for these and they all fit on these common nuts and bolts here. So you break this out and then the new ones sit on top and drop down quite a lot. But due to the space we've got in here and the size of smart meters these days, it's not really practical. So we'd have to move this down to here somewhere and then try and squeeze our board in, but then you've, you're limited by the width and for how many circuits you can have. So that's why we've chose to, luckily enough, it's a little void here with all the cables. So I'm gonna bring them up, put our new board on top of here, and then everything should be long enough without no through crimps on them. It's just the only issue is we need to bring these CTs into it, as well as the new Zappy cable and an outside socket supply. So we're trying to figure that out on the fly at the minute. But they're quite um, tiny and uh, awkward to work on, but you can get replacements for them. Mantel unit. Charger's on the wall, just linear and clipped it down, popped through, so we can take that back off later on when we want to get the test readings, but because there's quite a bit to do, I thought I'd just get it all second fixed, um, just so out of the way, there's not bits lying about. And then what I'm doing now is just cutting some trunking down, and in the porch, we're gonna bring it through into this, drill through to where John is, um, so the EV cable can come through this, through into below the board and then also we're going to bring a socket through and we'll put a socket on top of here in the porch just for the tumble dryer um, and at least there's a bit of room in case we need to get anything up for the battery storage in the future right so i've just finished off downstairs we just replaced the old down lights for fire rated ones um, and the customer now wants to have five spotlights put in here because obviously it's quite a big room and he's only got the single light at the moment and just for his computer and stuff, he wants it a bit brighter. We've just got to do a bit of measuring. He wants one above the desk there, so he, it, he's got quite a lot of light there. And then basically we just need to put four in this space here. So yeah, it's just a matter of that, it's job now just to measure it out and space them evenly. Sit down, sit down there and just look up and tell me when it looks all right. No, a bit to the left. Look along this way though. So that's there. Oh, going that way. That's central to that one. That's central, exactly the same from there to there, but then that one's different. The room runs out. That one's not going there though, is it that far mm. to the... No, it would be 400 in from that left. Yeah. 70 and then that goes to 70 and a half. The wall is so out. Really, look, that's 71 and a half. Yeah. Yeah. By the time you get back to here, it's under 70. Yeah, so I need to turn it to 71 and a half then. Yeah, but then that one's well out up there, the third one. I think oh, you're I overthinking think I it. I, but I do, if it was my house, I'd like it perfect. <laughs> There's no mature way to carry cable. Rolling, okay, so I've to... <laughs> rolling, rolling down the wind. I've got the cables uh, all up here, so I've got the tails up. Cut a slot there before people think I went through two separate holes. There's no eddy currents going. 
uh, had to extend a couple of the cables which were put in the whisker box down here. But yeah, it's looking a bit tidier in there. Ignore the fact that some of the framers fell off. That was um, Lee drilling, <laughs> not me hammering. Um, but hopefully next time you see it, there'll be a board on the wall and it'll look a bit tidier. Do you reckon there's too many cables to bring through there? That's not gonna stay, is it? get up aloft and see what that one's like. Okay, if you poke a pokey up, I'll go and have a look, see where it is. What, just this one? Yeah, I mean, it's gone through, but I just don't know how far away it is from a joist up the top. What a day. What's that? This direction. Yeah. <laughs> have you stuck it through? Yeah. One sec. To drill. Sweet. What hole do you want next, mate? Bang again. Yeah, that's fine. I need to get my mask. Didn't realise I'd be up here this long. Oh, I made that insulation. Look, it's, what's that puffing out black? Look. First one's going to be the one by the door. Yeah, give me a start the one by the door then. Okay. And then this one. It's one set, I'd, I'd attach this all first. That so, one wants to go over that, to this one. That way. By the projector. Yeah, that's it. You got enough? Yeah. I can't see where you've poked through the insulation. Oh, you got it? That one wants to go to the projector one. Uh, it'll have to go to, it can't. What? If I do... Or to the computer one? Yeah, if I go back, it's going to be a bit weird. If I go back and do this middle one first... Yeah. Then I'll go and do that one to there, then all the way back to the computer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If that just wants to go across. <laughs> it's under the boards. Do you reckon it can get rod up there? It's right under the boards. Let's get kick going. Hitting something. Keep, keep going. Oh. Oh, wait. One sec. Hey. Yep. Right, got the cables in now. Uh, starting to dress them in. It's starting to look a lot clearer in here now. And uh, hopefully, once these are all dressed in, this will look nice and pretty for the customer. But I've still got loads of CT clamps I've got to put around every single one of these. That's why I put a blank between each one to try and give us a little bit more space with the CT clamps and the solar's got to have another CT clamp around it as well just to add to the chaos in this fuse board but I'll hopefully check in with you later when it's all done. Basically, I think John said when you've done the EICR, so you can see these are all like, well, neutrals are well burnt, and then for some reason they've taped up some of the others. So we're just gonna remake that off into a new pull cord. I think there's a transformer to put on the light above for the extract fan and shower, um, like the light above it. Need to do that, and I think Luke's just in the loft doing a junction box, putting it into a Wago box and re-terminating it. So yeah, just make, working our way around and getting some of the smaller jobs done well. John's finishing the board. So, so the solar's connecting with the CT. I've left the big, big stuffers on it. I've just roughly shoved it in there. Where's this? Oh, this needs to go down and in. I don't know what that goes onto. That goes in onto one of the datas. Right that ready to connect up. Yeah, I only connected one up in the zappy, so we'll have to connect another one up. Some water down. One of us should have probably gone in. <laughs> Why, mate? Why? <laughs> and I, a moment of stress. Just, just can't for Max to be there. Can't just do that. Yeah. 
All right, that's it for today. So the car charger's on the wall. Um, Luke's just finishing clearing up. John done a good job with the board. Um, he had to knock out the skeleton board, move it above the cupboard. Um, there's still a lot to do tomorrow. We've got some bonding to run around the house and some remedials to finish off. So yeah, me and Luke are back, so we'll have a good crack at that. Hopefully whatever we got filmed today um, is useful to some people. Yeah, see you in the next one.